It's easy to get stuck in a rut and make the same things for dinner over and over again. So we've come up with a ton of recipes that are just what you need to break up the dinner doldrums. These are some simple, five-ingredient recipes you'll make all the time. The next time your favorite Italian dish is on the menu, how about dressing it up with a caprese salad? According to The Sun, this classic dish has a few different origin stories, including one that says it was first created in the early 20th century by a patriotic Italian chef who wanted to replicate the nation's flag. Since then, it's become symbolic of the sunny Mediterranean lifestyle. And it's one recipe you can absolutely make in your own kitchen, proving that something doesn't have to be complicated to be delicious. Whether you serve it in the traditional slice manner or dice up your five ingredients for a more salad-like look, this is a tasty and fresh dish that will add some authenticity to any Italian meal. But also, try to plan ahead. The fresher your tomatoes and basil are, the better your caprese salad will taste. Making traditional lasagna is a multi-step process that requires a ton of ingredients, a lot of time, and even more patience. Consider all the pre-cooking, the mixing, the layering, the time in the oven. It's the kind of meal that can give you a headache just thinking about it. That's not even counting the cleanup or potential mistakes lurking in the process. But there's an easier way. After a little creative thinking outside the box, we've absolutely cracked it. This is a delicious, hearty lasagna with all the comfort food vibes you've come to expect, but with none of the hassle and only five ingredients. Thanks to one incredibly clever swap, our five-ingredient lasagna takes just five to 10 minutes of prep time and 30 minutes in the oven. What you get is a rich, delicious meal that won't just fill everyone's bellies, but it'll have each person at the table asking for seconds. That is delicious! Have you ever gone to Red Lobster, dug into those delicious Cheddar Bay biscuits, and then been disappointed when the main course came to the table? You're not alone. Those cheesy delights are the top reason to ever set foot in a Red Lobster. In the meantime, here's a great option for those nights when you're itching for some delicious biscuits with your home-cooked meal. Our five-ingredient garlic cheddar biscuits come together in a flash, bake in just 12 minutes, and are so easy to make that they can definitely be a last-minute addition to your menu. They can even be something you throw together while you're waiting for other things to cook. Here's a pro tip. One of the ingredients it calls for is buttermilk, an ingredient that many people just don't keep in their fridges. So pick up a container of shelf-stable powdered buttermilk, transfer it to an airtight container, and pop it in your cupboard. It'll come in handy. Even the most tried-and-true cheesecake recipes have the chance of going horribly wrong. And if there's anything that can make you want to toss an entire dish straight out the window, it's a cheesecake that's cracked, caved in, or both. I am mortified by this. I am so sorry, everyone. For a lot of people, cheesecake is a treat to be picked up by the slice at the store or as a dessert treat at a restaurant. It doesn't have to be that way, though, because we've come up with a five-ingredient cheesecake recipe that is a heck of a lot easier than you might expect. It takes about an hour from start to finish, which is admittedly a little longer than most of the other recipes listed here. But this is cheesecake after all, and it's worth every minute of prep and cook time. Even total carnivores will love this rich, classic dish, whether it's the main course or a side. Yes, risotto has a reputation for being difficult. We can probably blame Gordon Ramsay for that particular preconception. It's bland. The rice is still undercooked. Disgusting! But you can do it. The trick to all risotto is adding the vegetable stock slowly, continuously stirring it to get it all incorporated and cooked through properly. It's not something that you can walk away from, and it's definitely a no-pain, no-gain sort of dish. Here's a bonus. Once you go through all the hard work once, you can keep the leftovers in the fridge for up to five days. That means you can opt for risotto as the main course for Meatless Monday, then use up the leftovers as a side around Thursday. Just reheat in a skillet. A dip is always a big hit at parties and gatherings. And sure, there are the old, trusty standbys like French onion and ranch. But sometimes you just want something different. Why not a dip that offers up the flavor of the ever-popular buffalo wing? Our super easy five-ingredient buffalo chicken dip is guaranteed to go over great. There's the chicken, of course, with the unmistakable heat of hot wing sauce and the tang of blue cheese. It's a combination that makes you believe in magic. And don't worry if blue cheese isn't your thing. There are a few substitutions you can make. Just don't tell your friends from Buffalo. Chili is one of the ultimate comfort foods, and it seems like everyone has a tried and true recipe. Sometimes it's passed down through the generations and involves the kind of family lore where at least one person was sworn to secrecy. While it's nice to put a pot on the back burner for a long, all-day cook, Sometimes you just want to come home, throw something together, and get all the warm, comfort food feels of chili without all that work. That's why we streamline one of our favorite chili recipes into a five-ingredient dish that's ready in just half an hour. That's quick enough to make on a busy weeknight. There's also enough wiggle room here to customize. Pumpkin spice gets a lot of hate. It's the middle of October, which across the nation means that we are all looking at this and thinking, I don't know why, but I simply have to drink that. But it's still insanely popular. Pumpkin pie is a tradition after all. 
According to Housing Company, Americans eat a whopping 50 million pumpkin pies every year just for Thanksgiving. If you're still craving that smooth pumpkin flavor even in the middle of spring, there's good news. We've come up with a pumpkin pie recipe that calls for just five ingredients. And it doesn't include the pre-spiced pumpkin pie mix that you might usually reach for. Opting for pure, no-added ingredients pumpkin puree did a few things, including giving more control over the final product. The prospect of freshly baked cookies is great, but there's something even more alluring about the forbidden treat of raw cookie dough. Its magnetic pull may be that it comes with a healthy helping of danger. The next mouthful might be the one that comes with a side of food poisoning. But oh, the good old days when we were invincible and just didn't care. Today, we're a little smarter, but we still love cookie dough. That's where our five-ingredient edible cookie dough recipe comes in. It's meant to be eaten as nature intended, raw and right out of the bowl. Don't worry, we've gotten rid of the ingredients included in most cookie doughs that can cause some serious food poisoning. Butternut squash is a tough ingredient to figure out. Do you peel it, cut it, save the seeds, steam it, roast it, eat it raw? For the record, don't eat it raw. If you're at a loss, we've got a super simple recipe for butternut squash that can help you create a delicious side to go with any meal you whip up in the autumn. On top of that, it'll also add a little variety to your vegetable options. Getting your veggies in is even more difficult if there are kids to please. If you're having trouble getting Junior to open up to the possibility of vegetables being tasty, give this roasted butternut squash a try. It's not just bright and colorful, but it's got a delicious sweetness that just might appeal to the pickiest eater. What's this? Lowly chicken salad for dinner? Absolutely. Next time you're at the grocery store or bakery, pick up a really nice loaf of bread. Then whip up this super easy chicken salad, make some massive sandwiches, add a side of chips, and you're done. Do you know those hot summer days when you just don't feel like standing over a hot stove or firing up the oven? Those are the days this sandwich is made for. You can upgrade this basic recipe in any number of ways by adding things like dried cranberries, radishes, chopped nuts, or even a touch of pickle juice. And this is a great way to use any leftover chicken. Cloud eggs are a relatively new breakfast trend, but don't worry, they're not too hard to make. With our five-ingredient ham and cheese cloud eggs recipe, you can easily make these oh-so Instagrammable eggs. While you're only going to technically need just a couple of ingredients, we'll tell you right up front that you may want to add more. Why? Because this recipe is ripe for customization. There's plenty of wiggle room to make this just what you desire. Check out the description below to find recipes for all these delicious dishes. And even more mash recipe videos are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.